The Princess and the Pea, adapted from Hans Christian Andersen and illustrated by Janet Stevens, narrated by me. There was once a prince who wanted to marry a princess. According to his mother, the queen, she had to be a real princess, very much like herself. So they traveled all over the world to find one. They traveled to the east. A real princess can play soft music on three instruments at once, said the queen. This princess is too noisy. They traveled to the west. A real princess can skip across the lawn without bending the grass, said the queen. This princess is too clumsy. They traveled to the north. A real princess can take small dainty bites and never ask for seconds, said the queen. This princess is too greedy. They traveled to the south. A real princess can dance with the grace of a swan on the head of a pin, said the queen. This princess can't possibly be real. They just don't make princesses like they used to, said the queen. So at last the prince and his mother returned home. The prince was sad that they were unable to find a real princess. The queen was mad and disgusted. One evening there was a terrible thunderstorm. Rain poured down, and a great wind whistled through the town. When the storm was at its worst, there was a knock at the palace door. The old king went to open it. Standing there was a princess. She was soaked and water spilled out of her shoes and sleeves. I am a real princess, she said. You are? asked the king. Then you must meet the queen. When the king introduced them, the queen started to laugh. How can you be a real princess when you look like that? she asked. But I am, said the visitor. Well, my dear, it's very late. Stay for the night and we can discuss it in the morning, said the queen. The queen had a plan. She hurried to the guest room and stripped the mattress from the bed. She laid a single pea on the bedstead. Then she took twenty mattresses and piled them on top of the pea. She piled twenty feather beds on top of the mattresses. Now the bed was ready for the princess. This is where you sleep tonight, said the queen. The princess was very tired. I'm sure I'll sleep well on so many mattresses and beds, she said. She climbed slowly up to the top and lay down. Good night, said the queen. I do hope you sleep well. The princess settled down into the bed. She rolled to the right, and she rolled to the left. She lay on her stomach and she lay on her back. No matter how hard she tried, she could not find a comfortable position on such a rocky bed. In the morning, the queen asked, Did you sleep well? No, said the princess. I tossed and turned all night. My body is covered with bruises this morning. The queen gasped. You didn't sleep well? You must have felt the pea. Then you are a real princess. Only a real princess would have such delicate skin she could feel a pea through twenty mattresses and twenty feather beds. So the prince married the princess. The entire kingdom was invited to the wedding. Even the queen was satisfied. She was so pleased to find the real princess, she put the famous pea in a museum 
where it can still be seen if no one has stolen it.